The 2020 US election is currently underway. Good evening and welcome to the talk of the town. Here are your top stories for the 4th of November. The closely contested US presidential election is currently underway. There are 538 electoral colleges in the United States and any candidate hoping to secure victory in the US presidential election must win 270 electoral colleges. Now, the incumbent president of the United States, Donald Trump, won key states such as Texas and Florida, which carries a high number of electoral colleges, while a contesting candidate, Democratic candidate Joe Biden, also won key important states including Washington, California and Colorado. Now, if elected to office, Joe Biden will be the oldest sitting president of the United States. He would also be the first challenger to an incumbent president who has won a presidential election in the United States after 28 years. President Gota Rajapaksa has said that the country cannot be placed under lockdown until a cure for the COVID-19 pandemic is found. Now, in a meeting with the presidential task force on COVID-19, he urged the general public to continue their day-to-day -day activities while adhering to health guidelines. The highest concentration of COVID-19 patients was discovered from the Borala Police Station. 41 people at the Borala Police Station tested positive for COVID-19 today. Steps have been taken to disinfect the Borala Police Station. The Acting Deputy Director General of Public Health Services has urged the public to inform the Ministry of Health if hospitals refuse to admit patients or provide medical assistance. And that's a wrap of your Talk of the Town for today. To follow details of these stories and more, you can, of course, log on to our social media platforms on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. I'm Charlotte Benedict for the News First Team.